In this video, we will look at factoring a special product that is a perfect square. Often, we don't recognize a perfect square at the beginning, so we will start by using the AC method. However, if the numbers from the AC method match, that will tell us that our solution, our polynomial, will factor to a perfect square, such as a plus b squared. Let's take a look at some examples where we find this relationship. In this problem, if we're using the AC method, we would be multiplying to 25 and adding to negative 10. Trying a few combinations, we find the answers we want are negative 5 times negative 5. What becomes interesting about this combination is that the two numbers match. When that happens, we stop factoring by the AC method and jump straight to the perfect square that it factors to. To factor a perfect square, we are going to take the square root of the first and last terms. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 25 is 5. The middle term tells us that a negative has to go in between the 5 and the x. After matching the sign from the middle term, we're now factored as x minus 5 squared. Let's take a look at another example, where we find the numbers from the AC method match, telling us we have a perfect square. In this problem, using the AC method, we would be multiplying to 9 times 25, or 225, and adding to 30. These numbers are quite large, so it might take a little guess and check in order to find the right combination of numbers that multiply to 225. When in doubt, start with 1 and count up. 1 times 225 clearly will not add to 30. 225 is not divisible by 2, so next I try 3. 3 times 75, which does not add to 30 either. 4 does not go into 225, so we go to 5. 5 times 45 is 225, but again, it does not add to 30. 6 does not work, neither does 7 or 8. But 9 times 25 will be 225. And again, we find that that will not add to 30. 10, 11, and 12 do not work, and neither does 14 or 13. But 15 goes into 225 15 times. Notice those numbers will add to 30, so the pair of numbers we want must be 15 and 15. What becomes interesting to us is those numbers are a match. When I see those numbers match, we no longer factor by the AC method, but instead jump straight to the factors. We fill in that perfect square by using the square roots of the first and last. The square root of 9x squared is 3x. The square root of 25y squared is 5y. Finally, the middle term tells us the sign that must go in the middle, a plus and we now have factored to 3x plus 5y squared. When using the AC method, if we find a match, that means we have a perfect square.